Hey everyone, and welcome to my weekly chat with Amy. It's Amy Yamada here, and um, if this is your first time joining me, then welcome. And this weekly chat with Amy is all about learning how to deeply connect with yourself, your vision, your purpose, and your audience so you can make a bigger impact in this world and earn the income that you've always wanted. So I just wanted to welcome everybody and also this has been a really exciting week uh, because I, I launched my annual speaker series and um, it's been just phenomenal to hear all the feedback from it. So every single year I reach out to a group of experts all around the world and I interview them and I feature them and in this year's um, theme of mastering your marketing messaging, it has been so awesome to have each of them share a live training within it and um, the, the training has been phenomenal. So. I just wanted to mention that because I know some of you are actually coming to me from that experience and uh, it's still going on so I will go ahead and pop the, um, the, the URL for that into the comments after this uh, but it's called MasterYourMarketingMessaging.com Master Your Marketing Messaging and it's really an incredible way to learn how to take your messaging to the next level, right? Your uniqueness to the next level. So, um, so if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and grab that. It's totally free. And um, hey, Lena. <laughs> so yeah, so you know, when I first started this chat with Amy, I just started thinking about like, what could I do to better serve my audience of entrepreneurs? And I only recently started, so I'm still building it up. And uh, it's just been fun to get the feedback that I've been receiving, whether you've been watching live or watching the replay. And what I'm so committed to is helping you to have the steps that you need or the breakthroughs that you need in order to really understand your own uniqueness and make that deep connection with your audience so you can make that difference. Hey, Sonia, welcome. So today, I, as I was thinking about my theme for today, I was thinking about how, you know, while some of you have known me for a long time and some of you are new to me, um, and you know me as a business coach or a coach for entrepreneurs, you may not know quite what I do behind the scenes and what I have taught my clients in order to build their businesses and make the difference that they want to make and create their freedom inspired lifestyle. And uh, you know, it's funny because I think back to when I first launched my business and I had multiple business, like I had two businesses and a bunch of side projects. And uh, it wasn't until I really just took a step back, looked at the big picture, because I was juggling so much and I wasn't really doing anything to go the distance with any one area. And it was at that point that I thought, okay, you know, I've got experience in business, right? I came from the corporate world, uh, worked in media advertising for you know 15 years, marketing and advertising, and I really brought it back to what I did best even in my career. And what I noticed was that once I launched my business, it was as if I forgot what I should be doing even to really streamline my systems, put myself out there, and grow my business, right? So I thought for today's theme, I would share with you the three most basic steps that have made the biggest difference for me and have helped me build a multiple six-figure coaching business. So I know we only have a few live watch, you know, viewers right now, but just would love to see if that is interesting to you, exciting to you. Would love to see, see some hearts and some love, and, um, and I'll be happy to go into that. Um, so yeah, I see Lena and Sonia, and I know there's somebody else on here right now, and um, I'm sure there'll be those that join us in a moment. Yes, totally. <laughs> Sonia, you're so awesome. Hi, Dagmar. Welcome. Welcome. And um, so today with the three-step process, this is literally what I brought it back to, and I come back to these three steps time and time and time again. So anytime I launch something new, right, anytime I launch something new, whether it's a free offering or a new offering in my business. You know, right now I'm actually really excited about a new offering I'm creating and, um, and it always gets me like, just kind of those butterflies inside like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this. Even though I've, I've been in business for a number of years now, I still get that excitement when I either launch a program that I've been doing for a while but I'm doing the new launch or when I'm launching something completely new, okay? So, I will share with you these three steps. I totally invite you to take notes if this helps you have a breakthrough in your own business. 
And if you also are loving what you're hearing throughout this Chat with Amy session, then feel free to share it and you know let others know that this is completely free to, to come join me every Thursday. Think of it as like some additional free coaching. I know a lot of you already have coaches or maybe some of you are even here from my own community. And um, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about how we can help each other out, right? So go ahead and feel free to share this. And um, okay, so I'm gonna bring it down to the three steps the three steps, it's a simple three-step process that has helped me build a multiple six-figure coaching business and I'm gonna keep going. Like this is, I would say this is the first year where I can really wrap my head around, you know, really going for that seven-figure business. And it's not about the money, right? It's about having those breakthroughs throughout the process and knowing that when I have that abundance coming into my life every single year, you know, year after year, I'm able to give back in a really big way. So yeah, feel free to tag people if you think that there are others in your circle um, of influence that you think would be, you know, it would be beneficial for them to also hear from a multiple six-figure earner, how they can also take these simple steps, then go ahead and tag them, you know, in the comments right now because maybe they're, you know, working away from home and they want to hop on for just a short bit and, um, and then we can get this started. So, okay, so I'm going to jump right in. So the first step, the first step is what I call the step called create, right? Create. And when I say create, now there's a lot of things that go into creating, right? But really when it comes down to the three-step process, when it comes to launching a new program or product or service or experience, it all comes down to creating your offering, right? I like to call it create your signature offering or create one of your signature offerings and making sure that you're not juggling many, many, many offerings. Like unless you're uh, the type of business where you you have an on online retail store or you're a spa with multiple multiple services, a lot of you I know are coaches, right, and online marketers. So think about your your one or two signature offerings. So so for example, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be totally transparent right now. So the experience that I am launching, the the new package I am launching, is. Um, I'm so excited about it. I wasn't even planning on talking about it today, but I'm just gonna take you behind the scenes with me. It's, uh, it's something that was inspired by about a month or so ago, I took myself on my own little mini work retreat for a weekend, right? I live in the greater Seattle area, and for those of you who don't know this area, there's a, um, there's a city or a town called Woodenville. It's like our Woodenville wine country. It's not very far from where I even live, but there's a beautiful resort called Willow's Lodge, and there's all these wineries around it and, and you feel like you're far away from the city. And uh, I thought, you know, I have so much to do right now. And um, I know it's just in my head and I, I really need to and get to work on my business. And I really would love to go somewhere beautiful where I can just, you know, take maybe 90 minutes to two hours at a time and just, you know, focus on the content creation and then go for a walk and then, you know, come back to it and then go sit in the jacuzzi, you know, just having my own little like workation. That was like fun. And, um, and I was talking to my boyfriend, Ken, and he started thinking about my business and what I'm up to in this world. And he's like, what if, you know, what if you offered that as an experience? Like, what if it went over the top and you created an experience and provided coaching leading up to it? And I was like, I think you're onto something. And then I, I give him credit. Like he came up with the name of this, this offering when usually I'm like, namey Amy, right? <laughs> and, um, so, so my point is, step number one, whenever I have a new offering that I'm creating, is I create the signature offering. So creating it and putting some time and love and compassion into it and thinking about what do I believe will make the biggest difference for my ideal client, right? So is it, is it a coaching program? Is it a six month or a 12 month offering? Or maybe it's a three month offering. Uh, maybe it's an experience, right? Maybe it's a live event. Whatever it may be, just, just drop into your heart and think, what can I create in order to make a bigger difference for my ideal clients? So for me, I was thinking about this and Ken was thinking about this and I thought, wouldn't it be great if you know, a lot of my clients, it's not that they need a new strategy, they've got strategies in place, sometimes too many strategies, right? And it's more about having that focus and that, that discipline and that, okay, I know how I need to spend my time today. I know how I get to really maximize my time so I can create the difference I wanna make in this world and also build the business that I've always dreamed of, right? So what I've noticed is that sometimes as entrepreneurs, we do not make the best use of our time, right? So we have these big dreams and it's like, what am I supposed to be doing today? And sometimes we might freeze up. 
So I thought, wouldn't it be great if I created a 90 day like group coaching program, right? But that culminated in a live experience. And it wasn't about teaching all this new stuff, but instead every single week we'll get on a call that's super powerful and every single person has one area, just one area of their business that for those 90 days, they are committed to focusing on and becoming masterful. So for example, maybe it's sales, you know, maybe it's enrollment conversations. So during those 90 days, I'd say my focus is sales or maybe it's being consistent with email, email copywriting to their audience. So my commitment is I'm going to write the best emails to my audience during these 90 days. I'm going to overcome this thing of inconsistency or maybe it's, I'm going to do a webinar every single week. You know, whatever that one thing is to really focus. Okay. Deborah says, I'm about to go into an appointment. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Yes. Okay. Yeah. I've heard about that. I'm bringing somebody on. So thank you, Devorah. And thank you for joining us this far along. Hey, Kelly. Okay. So then I thought about how, you know, having this experience. So having, you know, creating a signature offering. So creating this experience and having one area to focus on and then it culminating in, an, in a live experience in a beautiful place and um, where they have access to private coaching with me, like in an intensive kind of a way, and also have space and time to actually work on a project in their business and also have fun together. And so we're, so this is all happening. Like we're actually, I'm taking a group of entrepreneurs. It's, I haven't even put it out there in the world and I already have three people that are like, I'm in, like book my spot right now. So the name of it, get this, okay? I haven't even announced this yet. So like you behind the scenes, I'm really excited. It's called Powerhouse. It's called Powerhouse, and what I'm doing is I'm inviting six-figure powerhouse entrepreneurial women to join me for these 90 days so that we can really focus on one area of the business, and then we're all flying out to this beautiful, beautiful house on the ocean in Florida on Captiva Island. I've never even been there. It's just amazing. Um, yes, Sonia, woohoo, powerhouse, yeah. And so we're, you know, so we're empowering each other as powerful powerhouse women entrepreneurs. We're here to give back to the world, make things happen. And then we're staying in a powerhouse. Like it's so amazing, right? And so while we're there, we're gonna do things like, um, we'll have workouts in the morning. We have somebody leading yoga. I'm flying my personal chef, Megan, out there. So she's gonna be making these incredible, healthy, delicious meals. Um, we're gonna do a morning motivational address to everyone and everyone's gonna have their declarations and what they're committed to creating that day in their worlds and how they're gonna make an impact. You're gonna be supported by everyone. So if this speaks to you, like seriously, let me know because we're gonna be a little bit selective in who comes because the people are going to create the experience. It's gonna be amazing. So anyway, <laughs> we're also gonna have like, you know, you know, bonfires tonight, walks on the beach, we're gonna have kayaks and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be incredible. I cannot even wait. And my, my vision is to have this become something that is uh, quarterly, you know, and then once a year, I would love to go somewhere international. So we'll be, um, my team and I will be announcing those places soon, but the first place, you heard it here first, is going to be um, on Captiva Island in Florida, and I cannot even wait. So all that being said, bringing it back to the three steps. So create, so see how I got, I'm enrolled in my own vision, right? So you get to create your offering, like even if you've been doing this a while, so I know a lot of you have your businesses and you're, you know, you're doing okay, but you're just kind of like, oh, I wanna have that next big breakthrough. So create, a new offering or recreate or just really think about your programs or products and like bring it back to life, right? So create is step number one. Step number two is what I'm becoming more and more known for is all about connection, right? So I call it connect or the power of deep connection. So now that you've created this beautiful offering or for those of you who already have great offerings but you're like, I just don't feel like it's really landing with people, then if you already have it, then, then when you're creating it, think about how you can really articulate it with confidence, articulate it with passion, articulate it in a way that really lands with your ideal clients and shows them how that experience with that offering, that program can help them get to where they wanna go. So sometimes it's about just articulating it in a different way. And that's something I love helping my clients with because it's all about the messaging. Okay, so create, number two, connect. Build a deep connection not just with your audience, right? People always think, oh, she, Amy's all about deep connection with your audience. Yes, and you get to connect with yourself first, right? Connect with yourself, align with the offering that you're about to put out there in the world, deeply connect with your vision and your purpose, and feel like, oh my gosh, when I put this out there in the world, I know I'm going to be able to help so many people. 
You're gonna be able to help so many people. It's gonna be so amazing. So connection to me is not just about connecting with others. It's about connecting with self, connecting with the vision. So I know I recently did a chat with Amy that was all about when you get stuck, you know, reconnect with your vision, recommit to it. And, um, and then of course that part of connection of connecting with your audience is super important because you might have the best offering on the planet and if no one knows about it, good luck, right? Like I, I tell my clients this all the time. I have an incredible, incredible clients and they're just, sometimes they're a little timid or they're like, oh, I don't know who am I to think I should put it myself out there in the world or I feel like I'm being like a super promoter or bragging and I'm like, no, you have a gift to share with the world that's gonna make a difference, so you've gotta make some noise, right? Like, there's someone right now, I was just talking to one of my clients today, and I told her, there's someone right now, if not hundreds, if not millions of people, that are looking for you right now. They're looking for someone to help them in the very area and the very way that you know how to help them, right? <laughs> Sonia, yes, your clients are incredible. <laughs> Love you, Sonia. So, when you know that what you have is going to help them, they need to know that you're here. So you get to raise your hand and say, hey, I'm here, and this is how I help people. And if you're one of the people that's looking for this or you have a vision and you're getting stuck and you need help, I'm here. So I always tell my clients, like, make some noise. Like, if, if nobody knows, then what are you doing? You're sitting you know, behind your computer and hiding. So just make some noise, let people know. Use the I am statement. I am now launching Powerhouse. I am hosting a group of powerhouse women in this beautiful house in Florida. We're gonna have an epic experience and leading up to it for 90 days, we're gonna be committed out of our minds to our visions, right? Like I'm in it, like I'm totally aligned with it. So bringing back to the connection piece, connect with yourself, connect with your vision and connect with your audience in a way that lands, in a way that lands. So always think about how does your offering make a difference for your ideal clients? And then speak into it. This is what I'm offering. This is why I'm offering it. This is who it's for. Be specific, right? And this is, this is what it's going to do for you. These are the benefits. Here's the value, right? So that's step number two. Step number three is offer, right? You get to make an offer. And this is another part that a lot of, a lot of entrepreneurs get stuck because they think of the word sales and like, oh my gosh, I have to get out there and sell, like ask for money. I'm like, yes. <laughs> and, um, and instead of thinking of it as sales, I always think of, you know, you're making an offer that makes a difference. You're making an offer that matters. You're making an offer that makes an impact. So again, when, when you think about your ideal clients, right, this whole process that I came up with, which I remember when I didn't have, I, I, the process was within me from my corporate days, but I just didn't bring it through to my entrepreneurial experience until I felt so stuck. And I'm like, what is my problem? I was like, okay, what would I do in the corporate world when I wanted to create something new within my role? Like when I worked in, um, okay, so when I worked for 425 Magazine, it's a local magazine, upscale lifestyle magazine. And anytime I wanted to grow my business, my book of business, even within the magazine, there was, a, there was a whole process to that, you know? Instead of just selling ads, I wanted to create experiences for the magazine, for the clients, um, for the readers of the magazine, the subscribers. And so what would I do? I would create something new. Like I would create something. And sometimes the offer part of it wasn't just to the clients, it was to everybody involved. Like I remember talking to the publisher and I was like, okay, I wanna create this best of 425 party. And uh, he's like, oh, but you know, I don't know if we have the funds for that right now or whatever was going on that was stopping him. I said, I know I can do this and I can even bring in sponsors and trade sponsors and I can have chefs on site. And I can, so I was like using the power of enrollment and making an offer even to him. Like I'm offering my services to create this. So I created the package, the, the party and the event, enrolled the team in it. Then I enrolled partners in it. Then I enrolled clients in it. Then I put an invitation out. You see how there was this whole create and then connection with everyone. And then I offered it to all the parties involved. So <laughs> yeah, hi Janet. Yeah, thank you so much for joining. So, so, what, so to bring it back, the system that I created myself and realized that this is what I do and this is what I can teach. So it's really at the core of what I teach even in my year long coaching master's academy is create, connect, offer, right? Create, connect, offer. And then I started to see parallels in everything else I was doing. So even in my email copywriting, right? I create the email, 
In the email, I use connection statements that really lag with my ideal clients. And oftentimes, I make an offer to chat with me or I make an offer to you know, join me with this free speaker series that has free training in it or I make an offer to check out this other person, you know? So, and then even from the stage, you know, I'm speaking on the stage of the Zone event this year. I know a lot of you coming this year. I'm so excited. So right now I'm in the process of working with a speaker coach that I can't even believe I'm working with these people. Um, Pete Vargas and Pat, who's his lead coach, I'm flying out to Milwaukee in August to do this training. And I know that we're going to create a signature talk. I'm gonna connect with the audience, right, from the stage. And I'm gonna make an offer, like a free offer, I'll do a free gift, so I can build a, a deeper relationship with my own tribe and the people who resonate with me. And you know, I get to build a business from that. So I just wanna share those steps because I think sometimes we get so caught up in this place of, I need, I need to do more, right? I need another strategy, I need to find clients, I need to do all these things online in order to build my business. And I'll tell you what, and this is just my point of view, everybody has their own point of view, right? Even before I started doing all this fancy online marketing, <laughs> I was able to build a business through these three steps. I didn't have an email list, um, I didn't have any fancy online marketing funnels, didn't have a huge following online, and yet I knew that if I really trusted myself to create something that could make a difference for my ideal clients, I could create it, I could build connections even locally. I would just go to networking events and talk to people about what I was up to, listen to what they're up to, listen to what they need, and I would set up meetings at local coffee shops, just like I did back in my advertising days, and get to know them, and then I would make an offer. So it doesn't have to be so hard. And even though I do love all these other ways that have expanded my business online, right? So I'm not saying that those aren't great. I use them myself to leverage and expand my, my impact. I still come back to the system and it works every single time. So I invite you to do that. So I'd love to see, um, has this been helpful? Are you enjoying this? Um, have you had any aha moments or even just let me know, um, what you're up to right now? Like, what are you focusing on right now? What are you creating? I'd love to hear from you. Okay, getting some hearts, getting some love. I'm just gonna have a little sip of coffee here. Hi, Beth. Hi, Dagmar. Oh, thank you, Dagmar, you're so sweet. Um, Bex, love you, girl. Oh, it's so fun to, to see my mastermind sisters on here. Hey, Olga. Rebecca Lynn. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so, okay, Dagmar, you said, I have a hard time making noise about myself and my gift. Yeah, so Dagmar, a lot of my clients feel the same way, and, and colleagues even, and they often ask me, like, how do you just put yourself out there and, um, and have it be, like, authentically you, or where you're sharing all these cool things you're doing, but it doesn't come across as if you're, like, bragging or boasting or anything like that, and that is not my game, you know, it's not about, it's not about me, it's not about ego, even though I'm, I'm putting myself out there, but the way that I do it, Dagmar, is... I always think about, like I always answer two questions when I'm putting myself out there. Two questions, so you can write this down too. And some of you, some of my clients have heard this before. Is what's in it for them and why should they care? What's in it for them, them being my audience, my ideal clients, you know, in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with an ideal client, what's in it for them? When I'm writing an email to my audience, when I'm posting on social media, what's in it for them and why should they care, right? Now on my personal Facebook page, which I'm, I definitely one of those people who has like a lot of connections on my personal Facebook page, I still sometimes will post like a photo of my dog or maybe I'm with my brothers, you know, and so maybe they don't care, <laughs> but it's my personal profile, you know, so I feel like people can either choose to, to connect with me as a friend or not, and that's totally fine. However, most of the time I will look at what I'm posting and what's in it for them, why should they care? So even when I'm doing something that I feel really like proud of or excited about, I won't say something like, you know, here I am at this thing. Like, if that's all I'm saying, then who cares, right? Instead, if I do some storytelling behind it, like, you know, and my whole thing is I'm always all about gratitude and positive mindset inspiration. So I might say something like, um, 
you know, I, I, I MC Metropolitan Fashion Week once a year. So once a year, I live a totally different life and I MC this big fashion event, it's a very big Hollywood thing. So I get to, you know, be in couture gowns, have hair and makeup done. It is so much fun, I can't even stand it, right? It's coming up this October at Warner Brothers Studios. So it'd be very easy to be like, look at me in this gown, which who doesn't want to rock out a gown, right? But instead I say something like, I'm so grateful for this experience because it started off as a vision and a dream of my friend Eduardo and he launched Metropolitan Fashion Week in Seattle and I helped him because he needed a team to help his dream come to fruition. And now it has expanded to Los Angeles and we're taking it to Vegas and I'm so honored to have been a part of this journey since the very beginning. So you see how I, I still was able to put myself out there with images or Facebook Live videos and share a story in a way that wasn't just like making noise because it's about me, but instead I know that people see these experiences and like, how, how did Amy, how was Amy, Amy able to become a part of this? Or how was an entrepreneur able to create this experience? And so that's what I share. So you could think about it that way, Dagmar, and others who are on here who don't, you know, feel comfortable putting yourself out there. Um, Sonia, my next project is a summit. Awesome, awesome. Also, if you guys don't know Sonia, she does a, a Facebook Live video every Monday at 9 a.m. and it is incredible. So yeah, definitely connect with Sonia here if you haven't already. Um, hey Beth, I missed the beginning. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can, uh, you know, of course I'll post the replay so you can watch that. Uh, Sonia, next year group coaching. Yes, awesome. Oh, you're so sweet, Sonia. Thank you. Uh, Dagmar, trying to learn to write to my tribe that connects. Okay, so I'm just going to watch the time. Okay, a few more minutes. Um, okay, so when you're writing to your tribe, okay, when you're writing to your community, and I won't go into a whole long thing, but because uh, this is like something I totally geek out on, so I should do another chat with Amy just on this topic. But I, I first and foremost, I don't go right into the system I use. Like I still use Aweber. I know some of you use Infusionsoft or MailChimp or ClickFunnels, right? When I write my emails, I don't go into the system in which I'm going to use to send it out. Why, Why do I not do that? It's because I want to, once again, deeply connect with myself and tell my subconscious mind that I'm only writing to one person. So I go into my own inbox and I start a new composed email. I center myself, I connect in, and I think, okay, what is my client going through right now? I'll actually pick one of my clients and I'll think about them or I'll think about an ideal client that I've already met and I'll think, what are they going through right now? What have they shared with me? What is their biggest pain point? And what would I say to them in a subject line that would land with them and they would open it? So <laughs> here's another tip. So when you're writing emails to connect, which is this, you know, step two of my system, um, look at your own inbox sent items, right? Because we send emails out all the time to one person each, right? So look at your own sent items for inspiration on how you normally write people because <laughs> we do it every single day. I've been doing that lately where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have really great subject lines that I write all the time. So actually pull inspiration from that. So you should do that today. Just take, take a look just as a step number one. Look at your subject lines and see how do I write to people? Is it newsletter for July? You know, <laughs> no, of course not. Not that you would do that. But if it's too marketing-y or salesy, it's like, you know, are people really going to read that? There's just so much noise out there that you want to break through and have, you know, make some noise, but break through the online noise. So just look at that and see if you get inspired. Uh, Janet, relationships are a great beginning. Awesome. Hey, Devney. Oh, my girl, Devney. Love you. Love you. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this chat with Amy. Um, as I mentioned right now, I'm, you know, you still can get access to my annual speaker series and this year it's a speaker and free training series. So I'm going to pop this in the comments as soon as I post this. It's called Master Your Marketing Messaging. Actually, Devney, who just joined us, she's in it alongside uh, Shanda Sumter and David Nagel and Jackie Cote and Adel Amarsi. He's incredible. Um, I've had the best experts on this year's speaker series and free training. So definitely check that out. And if you've loved this, I invite you to share it. And uh, just know I'm here every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific, unless I'm traveling, in which case I will send you a message on that. And um, I look forward to seeing you on Facebook. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.